The Bemidji High baseball team is off to a good start this young season, winning their last four games. But if anyone knows there's no time to get comfortable, it's the Lumberjacks. They've lost the game before states the past two years, and this time, they're looking to go all the way. After the cold weather snowed out the first month of the season, teams like Bemidji are having to deal with a compressed schedule, putting the pressure on its players. It's kind of nice as long as you're in a good hot streak at the plate, but if you're not hitting well, it's tough to get out of a slump when your season's only three to four weeks long. Uh, you know, it makes a lot of fun, especially when you're, when you're playing really good because it just keeps on rolling and rolling and just a lot of fun. For the pitchers, it means you have to throw strikes when you get the call. And this year, the team has one of the youngest pitching staffs they've ever had. For we graduated a lot of innings, guys that have thrown a lot of innings for us the last couple years. So we knew we were going to see some new faces out there. And, you know, that's the fun part about coaching high school sports is, you know, there's always kids graduating, kids coming through the program. So it's fun to see new kids step up and uh, play new roles for your team. The team's had a strong offensive start this year both with power and with speed on the base paths. I think we got a lot of guys that can steal a lot of bases and that puts a lot of pressure on the other team to make plays and it causes them to make mistakes. They're flourishing on the bases, being aggressive, and when you force the issue, you know, sometimes mistakes happen by your opponents, so you certainly want to be doing that all the time. And in the back of their heads all season long, making it to state after losing in the section championship game the past two seasons. We've lost about the last two years in the section championship and that's a big thing. We want to win one and go down to state last year, especially senior year. Guys are really itching to get back to that title game, but we got a lot of steps before we can get to that game that we need to focus on first. Well, next step of the journey for them, a doubleheader tomorrow against Thief River Falls. That one starts at noon and two. Nothing better than playing two than skipping school and playing two. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.